One woman's pet project has turned into a project with legs. Here's our Richard Schlesinger. Lonnie Edwards is an unusual agent with peculiar clients. So Ella Bean is one of our clients. She travels all over the world. She recently did a campaign with her in the Ritz Carlton. It's not about which people Edwards will represent. In fact, she doesn't represent any people at all. This is Ella Bean. So she's the fashion blogger oh. in dog form. So she's always traveling, that's her in Paris. Lonnie Edwards owns The Dog Agency. The name is a little misleading. She represents all sorts of animal stars of Instagram. This is Atticus the Hedgehog. Lonnie Edwards has gotten Atticus the Hedgehog starring roles in Instagram ad campaigns for Stainmaster Carpet Cleaner and Olympus Cameras. When each one of the 117,000 people who follow Atticus logged on, they saw these pictures. He's like camera shy. And Stephanie Zhang and her hedgehog were in business. There were definitely a lot of benefits to getting an agent. Um, the biggest thing is the fact that they can read over the contracts for you and negotiate on your behalf. Tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands, and sometimes more than a million people follow some of the animals whose pictures are posted on the social network. A popular animal becomes what's called a pet influencer, and few pets have as much influence as Diddy Kong and Yeti Kong, two monkeys from Miami. Gabriella Katia and her boyfriend Matt Crown started posting pictures of their monkeys for their friends. Come on, Dave. And then the monkeys went viral. We had no idea they were going to become so famous, and it's exciting. I mean, we've never seen a famous monkey like this on Instagram, so. <laughs> Laugh if you will, but sponsors are willing to pay for pets and the eyeballs they attract. Turns out Edwards has the perfect pedigree to figure out how to make good money off of them. So um, I went to Andover for boarding school, Cornell for college, and Harvard for law school. Is this what you envisioned doing <laughs> when you were in Harvard Law School? And I don't mean any disrespect, it's just so unusual. Nope, not at all. At the end of the day, I wanted something more fun and more creative. I got the entrepreneurial bug. This business is not just creative, it's lucrative. Just ballpark numbers, influencers with millions of followers are getting around 10 to 15,000 per piece of sponsored content. Some campaigns have many pieces of sponsored content. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Just this month, the Miami Monkees became paid spokes primates for Two Hats Beer. It's their first sponsorship, and it could be the start of something big. Campaigns definitely with Diddy Kong could go into the hundreds of thousands for sure. <laughs> so this is Maxine and she has about 47,000 followers. Lonnie Edwards had a party recently at her office in Manhattan. So this is Pistachio and she has 290,000 followers. It was a raucous affair for some of her more popular, less exotic clients. This is Walter Cronkite, and he has 90,000 followers. And that's the way it is for Lonnie Edwards, who's doing just fine a world away from her roots at Harvard. Law school fellow students are jealous? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Think they're laughing? Uh, not anymore.